Welcome to The Daily Writer, where we share a lesson each day to help you cultivate the habits for creative success. These lessons are inspired by great artists, authors, and thinkers, both past and present. For more, you can visit us at dailywriterlife.com. One of the most popular episodes of the original Twilight Zone series is one called Time Enough at Last. Burgess Meredith plays Henry Bemis, a bank teller with thick glasses who is obsessed with reading. One day during his lunch break, he goes to the bank vault to read. Suddenly, there's a violent explosion which knocks him out. He later wakes up to find that an atomic bomb has destroyed the world. But he was protected from the blast by the bank vault, and now he's the only person left on Earth. Henry wanders the ruined city in despair, and he comes to the town library, where he finds all the books still intact. He suddenly realizes that he has all the time in the world to read and nobody to bother him. And in one of the greatest plot twists in television history, he reaches down for a book and drops his glasses, shattering the lenses. Henry Bemis had all the time in the world, but he lost the one tool he needed to make use of it. Most writers have the opposite problem. We have all the tools and technology we could ever want, but not enough time. So there we remain, stuck in our own twilight zone of missed deadlines and unfinished projects. Well, what's the solution? How do we escape this parallel dimension where we always seem to be short on time? Perhaps the creator of the Twilight Zone himself, Rod Serling, can give us some guidance here. As the producer, narrator, and writer of 92 of the 156 episodes of the Twilight Zone, Rod Serling knew a thing or two about productivity. He gave us a little peek behind the curtain of his success when he said, I write much better in the non-confines of the early morning than I do the clutter of the day. Could it be that simple? Well, maybe it is. When you look at the habits and the rituals of some of the world's most successful people, writers or otherwise, most of them have one thing in common. They do their best creative work early in the day. So give it a shot. Try getting up 15 minutes earlier for a week and doing some writing. Then if that's successful, add another 15 minutes to your routine the following week. Pretty soon you'll love this newfound sense of productivity and you'll wonder why you ever stayed stuck in the region known as the Twilight Zone. Hey, thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Daily Writer Podcast. We really appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed this episode. You can find more at dailywriterlife.com.